This is the all new Cyan Smooth 5S. And in this video, I will show you how you can set it up and how you can balance it to get some perfect results. Now, what's up everybody? My name is Julian. I'm the creator of Smartphone Filmmaking Pro and I'm super excited to have you all. In this video, like I said in the intro, I will show you step by step how you can set up your all new Cyan Smooth 5S. I will show you how you can connect it to the ZY Cami app. And yeah, basically I will show you everything that you need to know. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that I would recommend that you should do when you unbox your gimbal is to attach this little table tripod to your gimbal. This is very simple. Just, you know, use the quarter inch screw, align it and then just screw it in. And this will be very helpful for balancing, for example, because then you can just put your gimbal on a table and it will not, you know, wobble around. So that's the first thing that I would recommend. And the next thing that you will notice is by the time you unbox it out of your package, you will notice that it, it feels very stiff. It's not wobbling around. And the first thing or the next thing that you need to do at the back of the gimbal, you have a little button that says lock. And basically all you got to do is unlock the gimbal and then suddenly this axis is released. As you can feel, you know, this axis at the top here still is locked and there is no knob to unlock that. The only thing that you need to do is just press a little bit and then you can see that all of these axes are free and that's what we want. And that's basically the first thing that you should do. And this is also very important to know because when you're traveling, I would always recommend that you lock the gimbal again, spin it until it locks, put it in and then it won't wobble around. You can put it in the case and it will be just much more secure compared to it wobbling around. The next part of this video will be the balancing part. And I know from the Cyan Smooth 5, which was the predecessor to this gimbal, that a lot of you guys are struggling with that. So I will show you in depth and very slowly how you can do that. So the first thing that you need to do is, like I said, unlock all the axes. We have done that already. And next up, you need to bring the gimbal in a position where this part of the gimbal is facing towards you. And this part where you can actually clamp in your phone has to face towards yourself and you need to be able to read Cyan. That's very important because I've seen many of you guys that had, I don't know, some weird combination like this where it just was not working. So that is very important. Make sure that this part of the gimbal is facing towards yourself and you need to be able to read Cyan without, you know, you having to spin your head around. So that's the basic setup and that's how we can start balancing the gimbal. Next up, I will take my phone. I will use the iPhone 14 Pro for this setup process, but you can basically use whatever phone that you have. Unless you have a folding phone, then this probably will not work. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to just spread in our phone so that it locks in securely. So this is what we want. You need to make sure that these lips here are above the phone so that it is safely secured in there. So that's basically it. And now as a coincidence, it already is balanced pretty good. So I will just open this knob here at the back and I'll just, you know, bring it out of balance. So maybe if you put in your phone, it will look something like this. And the first thing that I would recommend that you should do is unlock this knob here at the back. You can see you can slide it around and you can basically bring it into the position where your phone stays in its position without falling over. That is the goal. That is the goal when you're balancing the gimbal. So what we will do is we will just slide it a bit to the left because it's leaning to the left. So we slide it even a bit more and now you can see it's leaning a bit to the right. So we'll bring it back just a little bit and that looks pretty good for now. So I'll just lock the screw here at the back. And the next thing that we need to do now that we have leveled this axis right here, we need to make sure or try that the phone also stays like this without falling over. And we can do this at the back here you can basically slide your phone upwards or downwards so I'll just bring it down a little bit and as you can see this is now looking already much better maybe even a bit more something like this it's not falling to the left not to the right and it's leaning a bit forward but that's basically as good as it gets and that is basically the entire balancing process. If you were to add a filter, for example, something like, I don't know, a diffusion filter or an ND filter or whatever, you of course will have to change this position at the back here. But other than that, if you just use your phone naked like this, you can actually take notes of this little scale that you have at the back here 
and then you won't have to do it. You will just have to put in the scales just as they are marked here. You can do that, but to be honest, it's just, you know, not necessary. But that's basically it. That is the balancing part. And the only next thing that is left is we need to just turn on the gimbal. And we are now pretty much ready to shoot. So with a setup like this, you're basically ready to film whatever you would like because you can change all the modes directly on the gimbal. And this is actually how I shot the music video, how I shot the launch video for the Cyan Smooth 5S. In case you have not seen that, I will link it up there. And I also made a full review video on this gimbal. So in case you're interested in that, I will also link that up there. And like I have promised in the intro, I will now show you how you can set up your gimbal with the ZY Cami app. That is the app that Cyan delivers you with this gimbal. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to search the ZY Cami app. So I already can find it here. So I'll just tap on that very quickly and it now opens up in the background. As you can see, it now says connected to this device. If you cannot see this already, because I have already done this before once, just tap on connect the new device and then automatically it will show you the Cyan Smooth 5S. Then just tap on it once and then you are in this setting that I have right here. Next up, I just say access device and location information. Yes, next takes a minute then you have to log in. Then you unfortunately have to create an account if you have not one already. I'll just do that very quickly. After you have registered, it now says activation was successful, completed. And now we are basically inside of the ZY Cami app and we could now also update the firmware. In case you just got your gimbal, I would definitely recommend that you update the software but I will not do this now. And next up, if you would like to start filming with your all new shiny new gimbal, just tap on the little camera icon at the top left and it now opens up the camera. And now we are basically ready to shoot. This will not be a full walkthrough of the ZY Cami app in case you would like to see that. We actually do have this covered inside of our full online course called Smartphone Filmmaking Pro. There we have way over 200 tutorials, more than 20 hours of content. And yeah, these things we cover, they are more in depth. But yeah, this is basically how it looks. Then you can start shooting. And that is basically the entire setup process. But there you have it, guys. This is the setup process of the all new Cyan Smooth 5S. And in case you happen to get the Cyan Smooth, then the process will be pretty much identical to this. Let me know if you guys have any more questions. And in case you would like to see a video that was shot using this setup, then just click this video over there. This was shot 100% using the Cyan Smooth 5S and also the iPhone 14 Pro. So click over there. Thank you. Bye bye.